What's up, Simonix? Welcome back to your favorite Ionic news show. This week, I really thought we don't really have a lot of new things, but eventually I got like 20 tabs open uh, because there's happening so much every other month around Ionic, around capacitor, updates, events going on, releases of my products. So there are really a lot of new things and I'm really excited to share a few of them. Uh, which you might haven't heard about. We will do some uh, detective work and find out what might be going on in the next time with Capacitor. So let's waste no time and dive directly into our newsflash. Let's start our news show as usual inside the Ionic Academy. Since the last show was like seven or eight weeks ago, there are two new courses actually, one on capacitor basics and one on building a little Todoist application. So the capacitor course is of course a general capacitor course highlighting everything you need to get started uh, to integrate capacitor, build apps with capacitor, use capacitor APIs and community plugins. Um, so this is like the foundation for every new course that will use Capacitor uh, in the future. The Todoist course is once again a course um, that is more focused on building a real-world application. Um, so you might know the Todoist application and we will kind of replicate this a bit using Capacitor, Capacitor Storage, uh, a few other APIs and also some cool UI uh, elements like adding drag and drop, custom delete gesture, um, custom pipes. Really a lot of cool things happening right now in the Academy. Check it out if you're not yet a member. Also inside the Ionic Academy, I think three or maybe four new quick wins. Uh, one that's actually still using Cordova. I got like a little shitstorm because I was using uh, still Cordova, but I think Cordova is still fine. And using Lottie with uh, Cordova helps you to build an animated splash screen. So if you're still using Cordova and looking for a cool splash screen animation, go check this one out. Also new, um, I already had something on the new uh, gesture API within Ionic. Now there's also another quick win on the animation controller. Um, so. If you don't know it yet, since Ionic 5 there's a cool uh, Ionic animations API that you can use to easily animate the appearance of pages like you can now see in this little GIF, uh, in the GIF of course, um, or animate just a few buttons across your application. It's really easy to get started, a great alternative to Angular animations, so really take a look at this if you want cool animations. Also, this is like a little addition for the uh, official Ionic post that I mentioned in the last video uh, where I uh, presented how to do Apple sign-in and this is the addition on how to uh, use Apple sign-in but also with Firebase since uh, you can sync the token from your application back to Firebase so you're also authenticated within Firebase. Check it out if you're using Firebase and have some sort of social login because then you need to use Apple sign-in anyway. Also new, uh, local notifications with Capacitor. That's like uh, a bit like the start, I feel, of more Capacitor content in the Ionic Academy. Um, local notifications, great way if you don't need push notifications. The post also highlights how to create something like this, an advanced local notification with an image or even a text input, uh, so you can directly reply everything. Capacitor. Now, on the DevDactic blog, there are also new topics about building desktop uh, apps with Capacitor and Electron. You see, I kind of uh, really venture into Capacitor. Um, if you want to build uh, desktop applications from your Ionic code, um, I hope you already know that it's possible using Electron, and in this tutorial I will show you how to integrate it. There are some ugly hacks like this and I got some feedback that images weren't working correctly. Um, I already said this, I think they are currently not focused on Electron but more on making web, iOS and Android work, but still it is somehow possible. Then uh, a little uh, tutorial on the Instagram photo filters. I really like the package by David Del Busco, I hope I said the name right now. Um, to easily apply something like this to your images. Completely web component, capacitor ready, everything is cool. Check it out if you need photo um, uh, filters. 
Then a cool little series that actually didn't really took off um, like I expected. I don't know if you don't like Nest.js yet. I really like it. It's a short two-part uh, tutorial on uh, image upload using Capacitor and Nest. We built this Ionic application and in the first part we also built a complete Nest.js API using MongoDB, creating endpoints, defining the image upload. Really interesting stuff. You can test this completely from the browser since we're using Capacitor and really, I really enjoyed this tutorial, but maybe you don't enjoy it anyway. Um, also new, kind of the latest thing is in-app purchases with Capacitor. Um, well, it's about in-app purchases. It's hard to do it, um, or at least it's tricky to do it. But if you need this, check it out. Um, also, now in terms of other things. Uh, so five minutes wasted on content, but I hope you uh, enjoyed this really quick view on all the new content. Also, what I currently plan for the Ionic Academy is something like a, let's say, career path or portfolio path, because we already have a section about projects and in the beginning, uh, this was planned to do like an exercise after a course. But I don't think it worked like this and I currently plan to have a few projects in there which have like use cases or uh, some mock-ups how the application should look and then the members of the Ionic Academy can build their own applications, upload to GitHub, perhaps uh, deploy somewhere so they can build out their own portfolio and get feedback on this. This is something I'm currently working on to completely revamp this section into like a career path. Um, if you're interested in this, let me know below the video. I know um, during the current situation a lot got laid off, so I think it would really help to show off your skills in the near future. Kickoff Ionic is still going great. I got a lot of um, pro signups, which made me really happy and also I've already uh, updated or made two little updates to it, so check it out, kickoffionic.com. Um, you can still also submit in the roadmap your ideas or check out what's new in the what's new section. There will be a lot more uh, updates on kickoff uh, later down the year or at least in let's say two months. Um, I just need to wrap up a few other projects. One of them is the Ionic Conf. Uh, Ionic has a conference which is taking place when this video goes live in like about a week later. Um, you can register for free and among some great speakers like John Papa or basically everyone here is a great speaker. Um, I'm also in there so I am kind of feel honored. Um, there's someone from the Ionic team, of course, Max, Ben will talk, uh, Mike will uh, be like the guide throughout the day as far as I know. Uh, here's the schedule, I will talk about Angular routing since I noticed that a lot of people still have problems with the Angular router uh, and that's what my session will be about. Okay, um, check it out, sign up so you don't miss the date. June 24, one day Ionic tutorials, uh, topics, everything. Also new from the Ionic blog, uh, just one little pickup. Um, this one article I found really interesting about keyboard improvements. So if you have any kind of forms in your application, might be just a register or a login form, just uh, go through this article once so you know what you can do using the input mode, for example, which uh, just changes the layout of the keyboard. So you might have the add sign when you're adding an email or the enter key hint, which can completely change the wording right here, send or return, um, or also uh, keyboard events to resize your view. Check out this little animation. Can we start it from the beginning? So um, this really feels natural, um, nice little demonstration of the code. So if you're working with forms, check this one out. Also, uh, I recently talked about the uh, um, Stack Overflow developer server. You can check it out in one of my last videos. Um, as you might have seen, React and Angular are still pretty common and uh, where is it? JavaScript is one of the most loved or most popular technologies. So. I feel kind of good about using Ionic, Nest and everything related to JavaScript right now. Now, I always follow Max Lynch on Twitter and Max sometimes um, leaves little uh, gifts for us or um, I'm not always sure 
what he is disguising, but uh, in some tweets he's pretty clear. And the first one I found is um, they had the Ionic Dev app in the past and now he made the application open source so you can check out this repository, install it and use the Ionic Dev app on your device. As far as I know, they had problems uh, submitting it for iOS and therefore took it down at some point, but it looks like you can now simply build this application for yourself and use it on a device. So if you uh, enjoyed the dev app in the past, go check it out uh, on GitHub slash uh, or Max Lynch dev app. Now also, um, Max is talking a lot about Capacitor lately. Um, he asked for some plugins you wish Capacitor had out of the box. That was like a first hint for me that they are working on something. Uh, which was confirmed by working on something mighty exciting for the Capacitor community. Um, this kind of got my interest and I wanted to see what this might be. So uh, I checked out Max Lynch on GitHub. I tried to see the activity and the only really thing that looked kind of new to me was the Capacitor community project. Um, well, yeah, the HTTP plugin is also pretty new, but I uh, already saw something about this, so I don't think that is something he meant. Um, I think this is actually what he's talking about. It looks like an uh, organization or a platform for all the Capacitor community stuff. Um, this is, I don't know what this repository is for, actually. But here's a repository of examples and also this list of repositories within Capacitor community. So this is like the organization now contains examples, the dev app, um, other examples. So we might see the beginning of a Capacitor community here with a lot of other examples. And I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know what it will be about, but I always like tweets like this. Um, I guess it's not going to be flash, but we will see what this might be. Finally, a quick note also on the progress of my book. I think for now it's time to um, let the cat out of the bag and tell you that I'm working on an Ionic book. This book will be called Practical Ionic because we will really dive into practical features of real world applications. At the moment you can see uh, it got quite a few pages already, um, so it's looking quite nice I think. I use LaTeX uh, for this, I uh, used this in university the last time. It has come quite far already, I'm almost finished so I really hope to release this book in let's say July or perhaps August if I need to add some more features to it. Um, if you want to know anything about the book just let me know, I will definitely soon also release like a first chapter so you can check it out if you want to get it in the future but i will also of course announce it here first to you when the book is available for purchase all right that's it for our latest news show apparently i destroyed the mount for my uh, microphone during our session but anyway I hope you enjoyed this episode with a lot of updates. Um, make sure you check out the Ionic Conf and you join the conference next week. Check out all the other mentioned articles or join the Ionic Academy if you want to go through the courses that I uh, have shown you in the beginning. And also, um, I'm really looking forward to all the updates regarding Capacitor over the next time. Uh, we'd love to know what you think about everything going on around Capacitor, so let me know your opinion below the video. I hope you'll have a great week. Uh, I hope to see you next week inside my talk in the Ionic conference. And have a great week of happy coding. It doesn't really work with this. But anyway, Simon.